So in your previous session we had discussed about electrode potential and standard electrode potential. So today's session we will be discussing about how to determine or how to experimentally find out the electrode potential of an electrode. That is when you dip a rod that is your electrode in an electrolyte whether it is undergoing oxidation or reduction as well as whether what is the value of its electrode potential. So how to measure this electrode potential today we are going to see. Before going to see how do you experimentally determine the electrode potential of an electrode we have to look into two main factors for this one. The first factor you should know is uh, she that is you have to use a standard electrode I will be telling what is the standard electrode so you have to first know about she. The other thing you have to know is about EMF of a cell that is cell potential what do you mean by cell potential. So each in uh, one session we will be discussing about. So in order to find out an unknown electrode, electrode potential whose electrode potential is unknown you have to use a standard electrode. The standard electrode we are today using is your she. What is she? She is nothing but your standard hydrogen electrode. So standard hydrogen electrode helps in finding out the electrode potential of an unknown electrode. So let us see about this she. As I have told you this is a standard hydrogen electrode standard which means that you will be referring the electrode potential of all other electrodes with respect to your she that is standard hydrogen electrode. The standard hydrogen electrode, it is a gas ion electrode. It is a gas ion electrode. So I will be telling what is this gas ion electrode. It is a, remember it is a gas ion electrode. According to, according to IUPAC, she is a standard electrode, is a standard electrode, electrode. So what do you mean by standard electrode is as I have already told you with respect to this she that is standard hydrogen electrode you are fixing the values of electrode potentials for other electrodes. Say uh, uh, the electrode potential of zinc is say x it means that with reference to this she with reference to this standard hydrogen electrode the value of electrode potential of zinc is x. So like this you are referring this thing to your standard electrode. So as a result you will be having the value for the other thing. So hence it is also called as reference electrode. It is also called as reference electrode. It is also called as reference electrode. That is you are referring the electrode potential of all the metals all the electrodes with respect to this she. Hence it is also called as your reference electrode. So what should you study in this she means you have to know about the construction of she very important. You will be having a two mark question for construction of she as well as its cell potential you should know what is the cell potential that is electrode potential of this she as well as you should know the cell representation. These are the three main things about she. So construction uh, electrode potential what is the electrode potential of she as well as your uh, cell representation of this she all these three things are very important so let us see one by one each so this is the construction of your she that is standard hydrogen electrode so what is the construction uh, describes like that is you have to take a platinum wire a platinum wire which acts as an inert electrode platinum is a stable metal so it acts as an inert electrode then uh, to which you will be attaching a platinum black coated over a platinum foil. So the, this whole thing which we have taken it acts as an electrode which is connected through a to a circuit you want, want it to connect to a circuit through a connecting wire. It is enclosed in a glass tube like this which is having an outlet so sorry inlet it is having an inlet wherein hydrogen gas can be passed through it. This whole setup that is the glass tube as well as your electrode with your platinum black coated platinum foil you can observe here it is. The whole thing is immersed in an HCl solution aqueous HCl solution of concentration 1 molar. And into this inlet hydrogen gas is passed at 1 atmospheric pressure. So the pressure of this hydrogen gas passed is 1 atmosphere and the HCl taken as 1 molar. So this is the construction, construction of your uh, sheet. 
You can observe that hydrogen gas is present as well as HCl. It is present in the form of H plus and Cl minus ions. So, hence it is called as a gas ion electrode. It is called as a gas ion electrode. Hydrogen gas is passed through the electrode as well as you have a H plus ion concentration. H plus and Cl minus ion concentration in your electrode. Hence, it is called as a gas ion electrode. It is a type of gas ion electrode. Unlike your metal rod dipped in your metal solution, it is a different thing wherein platinum is dipped in your HCl. So, hence it is called as a special type of electrode that is your gas ion electrode. Since the electrode potential is with reference to she, it is, it is called as reference electrode. Now, let us see how does it work. How does it work? This she has a uh, uh, has an advantage that it can both act as an anode as well as a cathode. That is she can act as she. She means standard hydrogen electrode can act as act as both cathode and anode. It can act as both cathode and anode. That is, it can both undergo oxidation reactions just like your uh, anode. It can undergo reduction reactions just like your cathode. So, hence, it can be used for both acting as a cathode as well as an anode. So, let us see how does it act as a cathode, what is the reaction happening and how is the cell representation represented and see how it is acting as a anode and what is the reactions happening at anode when it is acting as an anode and what is the cell representation. Now, let us see how she acts as anode. We know that anode lone, you have to remember that code lone, lone is left side oxidation anode negatively charged thing. So, if she acts as anode, there should be an oxidation reaction happening inside this half cell. So, this should now become a oxidation half cell. What is the reaction happening? So, oxidation reaction happening is you know oxidation is removal of electrons that is the hydrogen gas that is passed that is the hydrogen gas you are passing into the electrode undergoes oxidation like this to become 2 H plus aqueous plus 2 electrons that is the hydrogen that gas that is going through your electrode inside inlet through your electrode she will get oxidized by removal of two moles of electron and they get converted into H plus ions. Where do they go? They move into your aqueous solution. So, that is if this gas is passed like this, it bubbles through your uh, electrolytic solution like this and at this point that is at the platinum black coated over a platinum foil at this uh, at this point, there will be an oxidation reaction wherein hydrogen gas undergoes oxidation to give you H plus ions. These enter aqueous. Aqueous means it enters your HCl solution and two electrons will move out to the connecting wire. That is, they move out through the external circuit. So, hydrogen gas passed inside undergoes oxidation. Two H plus ions after produced, that is after oxidation have been produced, enters your electrolyte that is HCl the two electrons moves to the outer circuit, external circuit. Now, if she acts as an anode, how to write the cell representation? So, how to write the cell, cell representation? Let us see. So, oxidation is happening. You know that oxidation is happening. So, H2, H plus. You can write it as half H2, H plus. Oxidation is happening. Oxidation, 0 to plus half. So, a line like this. Hydrogen gas where it has been passed? It is passed through your platinum wire. So, as a result, I can write it as platinum, comma, platinum. Platinum is the electrode, inert electrode. Hydrogen gas is passed. It is converting into H plus ions. So, platinum half H2 in order to balance it plus H plus. This is aqueous. This is your gas. Yes. So, this is the half cell representation because this is an half cell. So, half cell representation of she when it is acting as an anode. Platinum, you can also put a bracket also if you want it or you can just put a comma. Half H2 gas is being produced. Oxidation has been taking place. 0 to plus. So, this is the cell representation of your she when it is acting as anode. Now, let us see she as cathode. She as cathode. 
she as cathode. So we know that at cathode, she that is it has to undergo reduction. It has to undergo reduction. What is the reaction happening? The two H plus ions in aqueous solution, they grab the electrons, they become hydrogen gas. That is the H plus ions present in your aqueous medium, that is in your electrolytic solution, they grab the electrons. Where does these two electrons come from? They come from your anode. They come from your anode. So anode is uh, supplying these two pair of electrons to you. So these electrons has been grabbed by the protons present in your aqueous medium to give you the hydrogen gas. So hence reduction is happening. You can observe this is a reduction reaction. So now she can act as a cathode. That is it accepts the electrons coming from anode and itself undergoes reduction by two H plus ions present in your aqueous medium to give you the hydrogen gas. Now if I want to write down the uh, cell representation of she when it is acting as a cathode. Very simple cathode it has to undergo reduction. So H plus H plus it has to undergo reduction hydrogen gas aqueous small line hydrogen gas it is at platinum so it is at platinum the opposite of this thing and also you can write the concentration of h plus ion and also the hydrogen gas if required you have to rewrite it because it is a standard we know that hydrogen gas pressure is one atmosphere and hcl concentration is one molar so you can write that also in this representation so this is she acting as anode reaction reaction at anode this is remember this is oxidation and this is your cell representation which is acting as your anode she acting as anode this is your she acting as cathode that is reduction should happen reduction should happen and uh, this is your cell representation when it acts as a cathode. So she as anode cell representation here this is she as cathode. She has anode and cathode. These are your cell representations and this is your reactions happening at your she when it is acting as anode as well as when it is acting as your cathode. So the overall reaction happening at your cathode that is at your she as cathode or anode I can write it as can write it as like this that is the forward reaction taking place is your reduction oxidation happening this is your oxidation happening at anode the backward reaction is your reduction happening at cathode and remember this reaction takes place at at the platinum black coated coated platinum foil that is, this is the point at which these reactions happen. That is, this, this equilibrium reaction takes place at this position. That is, your platinum black coated platinum foil place wherein this reaction, the total reaction happens. So, that is the thing. Then, uh, if you look into the E of, that is the electrode potential of she. If you E means electrode potential, that is electrode potential of she or if I take the standard electrode potential of she. According to IUPAC, the electrode potential or the standard electrode potential, I know what I think you know what you mean by the electrode potential and standard electrode potential. You, you can also see the difference. So the difference is E naught here, it is standard. What do you mean by standard? If you measure the electrode potential at uh, 1 molar concentration of your electrolyte and 298 Kelvin temperature standard conditions they are called as your standard electrode potential. So according to IUPAC the electrode potential or the standard electrode potential of she is considered to be 0. Very important. Very important. The electrode potential of your she or standard electrode potential of she is referred to be it is equal to 0. 
So with respect to this she, you are going to calculate the values of electrode potentials of all the metals, all the other metals. As a result, hence this is called as your reference electrode. So you are referring the electrodes with respect to she, where she is having a electrode potential of zero and the others have the other values. So hence it is called as your reference electrode.